Now this is a great recipe. This is a potato crusted striped bass recipe. And normally I get into making the recipe right away, but first I wanna go over where I got this fish from. I got this from the owner of Lucky Sevens Fish and Charters. He runs a fish and charter in the Boston area. If you're thinking about booking a trip, please check out his website. I'll add it to the description. And to get started, we're gonna need one to one and a half pounds of striped bass. We're gonna to have to take the bones out. Normally the bones are located right here. We'll just cut them out and then we'll cut the fish in half. Then we'll cut some nice fillets. Doesn't matter how large they are, just whatever size you'd like. And then I like to take off some of this red bloodline. Sometimes people say it has a fishy flavor, so we'll just take it off and discard it. And we'll throw the fish into a bowl. And now we're gonna season the fish with some kosher salt, some cracked black pepper, some onion powder, and a half cup of flour. We'll mix it up and then we'll set it aside. In another bowl, we're gonna take two eggs. We'll crack them, stir them up. We're gonna add one to two tablespoons of water and some parsley flake and we'll stir it up. Then we're gonna take a potato and we'll peel it. This is an Idaho potato. Idaho potatoes I find work the best for a potato crusted. And we'll take a mandolin. We're gonna slice it on mandolin. It's gonna julienne it very fine. Then we'll take the fish and we'll dunk it into the egg batter and we'll place a little bit of the shredded potato on top. We'll do that to every single piece. If you don't have a mandolin, you can Cut the potato really fine or use a cheese grater. And once all the fish is coated with the potatoes, we'll drizzle just a little bit of the egg wash over the top. Put a little bit of salt and pepper over the top. Then we'll heat up a frying pan. Non-stick works the best with one tablespoon of olive oil. We'll heat it up and place the fish potato side down. And we'll let it cook for a little while until the potatoes start to brown. Then we'll use a rubber spatula and we'll flip it over and add one tablespoon of butter. We'll let it cook just a little bit more. We're just searing the outside and we'll scoop it out. Now I pour the extra butter on top of the fish. And I'll show you later. And we'll go ahead and we'll sear off the rest. I add the fish to a sheet pan and I pour the excess butter over the top. And then I place the sheet pan in the oven at 350 degrees. And it takes about 10-15 minutes to cook. And then once it's done, we'll remove it. And I'm going to plate this with my chive risotto. Push it down in the ring mold. And this is a sweet pea puree. And I'll also add a remoulade sauce. And then I'll place the fish on top using a spatula. And you can add some chives or a lemon crown. And there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, think about subscribing to my YouTube channel. Keep you up to date on all my future videos. Thanks again for watching.